Yo, it's your boy, Trey the Crazy One, and you're watching The Green Room. All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, you've been watching The Green Room, and I'm your host, Ima. We've been interviewing our brother, direct in the house. So let's just jump right back into it. Amen. So you were telling us just before we went on break how you're about to take over the whole joint. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, watch out for this dude. I, I ain't playing. This dude is—he is serious. You, you, you know what it is, Ima? It's just really—it's just being serious about this assignment mm -hmm. that God's given us. That's you right. know, and it's just like I think a lot of us sleep on just the opportunities mm -hmm. and doors that He opens. That's right. And 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 I mean, for every door that closes, a window's gonna open. Mm -hmm. We say that in cliche, but we don't really like, act it and right, live it out. Right. Right. We don't really walk through it. Mm -hmm. You know, and and. If our whole relationship with him is based on faith, mm. that means we're not working on what we can see and the things that are tangible. Mm. So we shouldn't let those things define us or right. bind us. Okay. You know what I mean? So if we're going to move in faith, we're mm. going to speak in faith, then we need to just live in that mm. and don't, don't, don't step out of it. Speaking on, speaking on faith, I'm glad you went in that uh, direction. Mm. Uh, just looking back on your life, mm -hmm. and not even the music, but aside yeah. from the music, yeah. you know, think back to a point where, have you ever been at that position where, you know, you're not, you're not too sure about this God, mm -hmm. this gospel, this thing, that, this truth mm -hmm. you're supposed mm -hmm. to have, you're not sure you have a really good grasp on it. Have mm -hmm. you ever been in that place in your life? Well, that's extremely uh, profound that you asked that because this season of my life has been just that, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm saying that as somebody who's been in the faith for a while, you know, mm -hmm. who's been walking with the Lord for a while. Um, uh, on a personal level, it was a situation, you know, that took place with me and my wife when we had been talking about having another child. Mm -hmm. And we was like, God, well, you know, we're praying that you just give us one more. We're praying that you can make it a girl, mm -hmm. you know. And, and we had been trying within our marriage to have a child and produce a child, but it wasn't working, mm -hmm. you know. And everything that we did, you know, it just, just wasn't panning out. Mm. Um, until finally I said, so, you know, if we're, we're, we're looking for something supernatural to happen, then why don't we consult the person who gives life <laughs> and allow him to uh, dictate when it's going to happen. So mm. we physically stopped trying mm. uh, as far as me and my wife goes. Um, and it turns out this one day I get a call and she's like, I got to go to the hospital. Something's wrong. I'm in serious pain and mm. I don't know what it is. And she, you know, I get to her job. And she's laying curled up on the floor. I'm like, what's this? You know, I don't. so I take her to the hospital, rush her to the emergency room. And they tell her that, say, yeah, we found out that you are pregnant. But the problem is you can't keep it uh, because it's a it's an irregular pregnancy. Mm. It's an ectopic pregnancy. Right, right. And mm -hmm. the baby is now growing outside of mm -hmm. your fallopian tubes. Mm -hmm. So now I'm saying to myself, Lord, this is what we prayed for. Mm. This is this is what we've been leaving, been mm. believing you for. How how is this gonna happen? Right. This is what the nurse said. This is what the doctor said. This is what everybody in the hospital said. They said it's not gonna happen. Mm. We gotta take her into surgery right now, <laughs> and and operate, take the baby out, remove everything, and then repair a cyst on your ovary. Mm. That's what they told us. So I said, I I hear what you're saying. Uh, you know, I, you just let me and my wife have a moment. I prayed over my wife. I said, you know what? I said, God, we know this is of you. We know mm. this is your will. So I, I don't receive anything that they're saying right now, but mm. we need you to come through. Now I'm saying it's like, man, I, I don't know what's going to happen because uh, previously my wife and I had a dream before we even found out she was pregnant. Mm. We had a dream on the same night. Wow. at the same time <laughs> and we woke up at the same time <laughs> that's serious right there and i looked at her i said hey i just had a dream baby i just had a dream she <laughs> said well let me guess you had a dream about a little girl with a head full of hair and she <laughs> looked just like robbie i was like yeah she said, yeah i had the same dream go back to sleep mm. so there's all these aspects coming in I and see, i'm like god I what see. is it you're saying mm. so she went in for surgery doctor came back out it's like we don't see anything <laughs> So, <laughs> I mean, those things like wow. that was that was a big turning point mm. in my faith walk with God. I, I mean, because we often say we're walking in this supernatural realm, mm. we're walking with God in yeah. faith, but we don't really, you know <laughs> no, what I mean? Not quite. No. We don't test it out. Right. So I was like, God, you need to do something miraculous, mm. miracles. We need you to, to intercede right here. He did, came out. I mean, because we saw on the ultrasound that there was something wrong. Yeah. But then they go in for the second ultrasound, and, and there's nothing there. 
Wow. So <laughs> for me, I was like, all right, I need That's that. That's incredible. It, it shaped my whole perspective of mm. who God is and mm. the way that I thought that I knew him. Right. You know, wow. that, that changed that day. And for me, I'm just in that realm right now. So mm. whatever it is, if these next projects, the next chapter, whatever mm. it is, I know that God's going to do it. Wow. That's that's incredible. Oh, he, I, I can't even begin to fathom that. That's, he's serving that's an incredible, incredible God, man, and <laughs> that's right. I'm just on board with him now. So, so I mean, you being in that position, what would you say to ordinary people who are at home? You know, you're telling mm. me I should believe in this God, and when the moment is right there in front mm. of you, I should have this this faith that I can't see, I can't hold, I can't touch. Mm. What what got you through that? Oh, man. I, I, In that very moment mm. of that trying time when the doctors are waiting for you outside, what was it you held on to? Mm. I think 